Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the farmer. The farmer is a character in the Precursor Legacy, but he also makes a special appearance in Daxter. He lives on the north beach of Sandover Village. His farm stretches from the village out to the entrance of the Forbidden Jungle. Here you can find his yakows grazing after escaping their pen. I have covered them in a previous video if you want more in-depth info. Their pen is located to the right hand side of the entrance to the Fire Canyon, and to the left of his rice fields. The farmer's rice paddies are terraced, and located in the corner next to the Forbidden Jungle's entrance. The farmer's hut is located to the left of the Fire Canyon's entrance. The most notable feature of the hut is the roof. It is a very large cone shape, made from wood and tiles, with two very pronounced eaves, most likely inspired by Japanese architecture. The hut has a brick foundation with smooth stone walls, with two windows, one with glass, the other has a large wooden hatch that can be opened up. Scattered around the hut are bales of hay and a pitchfork. These are presumably kept here for supplying his yakals. The entrance to his hut is lit by a single lantern above the door with a ramp to gain entry. Inside his hut we find more hay bales, multiple sacks, these are possibly filled with grain or feed for the yakals. There is also a very small bucket on the top shelf above some more sacks. On the other side of the hay you can find another pitchfork and hoe leaning over. There are multiple barrels here, along with another bucket. One of the shells has another sack, and the other has a large vase or jug, a cup and a bowl of fruit. Next to all this is an open fire, with a cauldron hanging from the chimney. To the left is a window, with some flowers sitting on the windowsill. You may notice that the door to the hut has no way of being shut, not even a curtain. To the left of the door is a small bench and another window. This one also has flowers, but this window has a curtain too. The farmer also has a bed in his hut, with a small shelf above, with a few books for some late night reading. The lighting of his hut comes from two lanterns, along with the fireplace. The hut has a zigzag wooden floor pattern, with a few blue mats across. Now on to the farmer himself. As you can see, he is a very old man. We don't know his exact age, but he is referred to as old as the hills. He is found sleeping on a hay bale outside his hut. He is barefoot with straps around his lower legs and around his hands and wrists. He wears a blue tunic with more wrappings around his waist. On his back he has a large bundle of hay, with red cloth tying it together and holding it onto his back. Atop his head he wears a large straw hat with slits for his ears to stick through, and one for his very long grey hair, wrapped up tall with red cloth. Under the hat we can see his face. He has a very large moustache and bushy eyebrows. He has quite a large nose and his eyes appear always closed. He is also clutching a large walking stick that appears to be made up from a scythe without the blade. In the official Jack Free Guide, there is a section of interviews with Naughty Dog and a Where Are They Now section. In here we find out that the farmer's name is Zeb. Sadly, Farmer Zeb passed away only a few years after Jack's first adventure, just after opening up his first drive through dairy. Friends and family said Zeb died peacefully in his sleep, which is by no means a surprise. The good news is, sleeping farmer Yakal Milk is still the top seller in many supermarkets. In the Precursor Legacy, while he is sleeping out the front of his hut, you can hear him talking in his sleep about his Yakal Bessie and bringing in his crops before the June bugs get them. Bring in the crops for the drum <laughs> After talking to him, he will ask you to corral his yakals in return for a power cell before returning to sleep. Mm, gotta milk those yakals. Gotta milk those yakals. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. 
I've been trying to get those Henri Akaus back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get him back into the corral? That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. In Dexter, the farmer appears in the dream minigame. This dream takes the place of Neo and Morpheus' fight in the Matrix. Dexter is portraying Neo, and the farmer takes the place of Morpheus. In the dream, he is wearing black pants and a white shirt, as well as glasses similar to the iconic pair Morpheus wears. He also carries a staff to fight with. The farmer is a great character in these games. He is very friendly and helps supply the other villagers with food. And that's my overview on the farmer, or Farmer Zeb. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.